absolutely was looking for the best clinical education that I could find, and I did my research. I'm from California, Los Angeles area, and I was looking all over the country. I knew that I wanted to come interview here. I knew the eye center, the facility was an amazing clinical facility, just one of a kind. And when I came for my interview day, I fell in love with SEO. I actually ended up canceling all my interviews after it. I came from a really big high school, a huge college, and this was the first time that I didn't really feel like a number. I felt like they were really actively you know, pursuing me to come check the school out and to come, really just to come be a student at SCO. And that was a really nice feeling. And it hasn't stopped since then. I had this profound sense of belonging. Uh, it was right when I walked through the door as I got my name badge as a visitor. And it was whether it was students, faculty, or administration, uh, it was like they truly wanted me to be here. But my main reason for choosing SEO was just the sense of home that I felt whenever I came here. Even from the very first time whenever I toured as a prospective student, I was very impressed by how, by how friendly and kind the faculty, the staff, and even the students were. Um, they answered all of my questions extremely helpful throughout the entire interview process. It just was a much more personal experience here at SEO than I got at some of my other interviews. I came here and Lo and behold, it just caught me. I think it's that Southern hospitality that just really grabs you from the get-go. The Eye Center is, is a great resource for SEO and, and the Memphis area as a whole. Um, for, from a student's perspective, it's a great benefit because you get to work one-on-one -on -one with staff doctors and see such a variety of patients that come in, a variety of diseases that Sometimes you may not see in your own practice for many years. We built a advanced procedures theater with three different laser um, lasers in there that students actually as part of their fourth year can go in and um, it's two-way audio video. You watch ophthalmologists run laser procedures and you actually get to talk, you hear them talk through it, you get to see what they're doing so that when we send patients out for, refer for um, some sort of surgery, they come back, we know exactly what happened. We know how it worked, we know the process that they went through. That's one of the reasons why I chose this school is because it has such a great clinical program that by the time I graduate, I wanna know I'll be the doctor that I've gained those skills. Having that ability to interact with the staff doctors, to interact with third and fourth years who are working in the eye clinic, and to have that easy accessibility with them, is, is something that you don't always get with every optometry school. And it gives you a really good idea, way ahead of some of the other schools, of that whole clinical experience and hands-on knowledge that you really should be getting. I actually feel like they're preparing us to be their colleagues. There's a lot of volunteer opportunities with our school. One of um, SCO's main ideas is to really become a community-centered institution. We do a, a thing at the zoo where anyone that's at the zoo that day can learn about optometry, very kid-friendly activities. Our program is called I Spy Day at the Zoo and our, the importance of this is to teach kids about healthy vision and the importance of having healthy eyes as well. We have many different stations set up from color vision to how your eyes move and we're really just trying to get kids interested in eyes and science and to learn about the profession of optometry today. I think it's great. Um, it just allows us to get more involved. A lot of times I think um, a lot of professions stay so isolated and don't get out to just open that awareness that we're around to provide care and help. SCO has many volunteer opportunities. This is just one of them. What I'm most passionate about is called SFOSH. It stands for Student Volunteers and Optometric Service to Humanity. I was president of that this last year, my third year. We spend all year raising money, um, getting donations of glasses. We work closely with the Lions Club. And then in the break in between the spring and summer semesters, we go abroad. We travel to eight different international locations. You can go as a first year and you think, you know, oh, I just know a few skills, but you learn so much more and they put you, they put you to work there. So you'll come back and you'll be miles ahead of some of your classmates that don't go on swash trips. It's just a great way to learn. Um, again, meet some classmates, make connections, and really give back, give back to people who otherwise wouldn't get eye care. This past year, I actually went to Belmapan, Belize, which is such a wonderful experience. We saw somewhere around 2,000 patients. In total, over our eight trips, we saw 7,600-ish patients and gave just under 7,000 glasses out to international patients. That was a, a really, really rewarding experience. The students at SEO are extremely excited about the new academic facility. Um, it's just been wonderful because in a lot of classrooms you have the problem when you're speaking in front of 
a large, um, a large group, you're asking a question, everyone may not be able to hear you. One side of the class may not be able to hear a question asked from the other side of the class. Well, we kind of have resolved that problem with this new facility because we have microphones at every desk. And on top of that, we have plug-ins so that we can charge up, get our iPads going, laptops going, so that we can be as engaged in class as we possibly can be. One of the things you'll see with SEO is that they are always investing in the uh, new technological advances that come up. Uh, whether it's in clinic with new instrumentation or whether it's in lecture with the new academic building, which is phenomenal. You, you almost don't even remember what it was like to have the old classroom because it's just, it blows your mind when you walk in. The size of it, all the thought that went into it. Um, it's also great to have the different breakout rooms so that we can enjoy in some of the uh, team building assignments that we have for some of our coursework. Um, as well as the study space and the waiting and sitting areas that we have available. It's a lot more um, exciting being in the new building. It's, it's just a lot more fun for us to have. All the different buildings are located close together. It is so convenient to be right across the street from the activity center here at the Eye Center. And a lot of students can walk over there during their lunch break, get in a quick workout, shower up, and still come back for patient care. Usually after uh, a lecture or a lab day, uh, I'll go work out or I'll go run at, at the activity center. Uh, also, sometimes in the mornings before uh, the day starts, uh, I'll play racquetball with some friends. It has a aerobic, complete aerobic uh, activities and then also weight room. It also has a huge full-size basketball court which transforms into volleyball court or indoor soccer area. And then also if you have some downtime in between lecture and lab, maybe around lunch, you can go play pool, you can play shuffleboard. So there's really anything you'd want to do is, is there for you. It's a good way to de-stress and of course there's no fees. It's completely free to students and family as well. So it's just a, it's an absolute asset of this school. I love living in Memphis. I've never been bored. There's always so much to do. Everyone comes for the barbecue, but you stay for so many of the other things that Memphis has to offer. I love big city. I love the atmosphere. One of my favorite parts about Memphis is Mud Island. It's a great place to be. I actually like to run, and so it's a great place to run as well. What I love most about Memphis is that it's a big city, but it really has a small town feel, and that was so different for me. You get a sense that this town is believing in itself. Uh, the Grizzlies even have a phrase now, Believe Memphis. And I think that embodies what Memphis is all about. Outside of the restaurants and the different varieties of food available, there's the Memphis Zoo. There's also the Orpheum, which has a lot of uh, plays and musicals that come that are national plays that come here to Memphis. There's so much to do, even downtown, midtown, even when you get into Mississippi, which is only 20 minutes south. So it's really cool. Good things are happening here in Memphis every day. getting the most amazing education that I think I could get anywhere. I can't imagine it being any better. Everyone's willing to, you know, it seems like, drop everything to make sure that they're supporting you and providing you the best education you can have and make sure that you're growing into becoming the best doctor that you can be as well. Everyone will bend over backwards here to help you in absolutely any way that they can. SEO is a community. The students, the faculty, the staff, First through fourth years, it is a big family, and that supportive atmosphere is what lets you be a great student here. I mean, you really can excel because it's so incredibly supportive. Once I came here, it was, without a doubt, it didn't even apply anywhere else. You just can't beat SEO. It's, you just can't. It's great.